how to be shared with your children, what you have on this or on the path of leadership. You be all the glory and you be all the praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So, we have been covering the uh, teaching of uh, making the leaders out of every follower. Because God sees a leader in every one of his uh, children. So, we are kings, and kings are leaders. We are priests, and the priests are leaders. We are in trial friends with God. So, God is the leader of the church. He is the leader of the angels. He is the leader of the chasing. He is the leader in every one of us. The job is to bring out the, the treasure as God already deposited in our husband and vessel. So we cover the introduction, we cover the point one as well, association matters, the choosing carefully who we follow. And then uh, last time I was here, we did uh, capital of Roman 2, the letter. The major attributes of leadership. So we are going to continue with that. We have the A, B, C, D, E, and uh, we stop that E, definiteness and decision and the uh, plans. So today we are going to continue with uh, the attributes of uh, leadership. And uh, I won't be able to finish it today. As I'm going to come back next um, Sunday because I want to take my time so that we can understand uh, what we will be following uh, every one of us. So, so that is me, one of the attributes of leadership. It is a do more than you are asked to do and pay for. Do so willingly. GF. Well, so when I was thinking, you put it in the okay? So then, do more than you are asked to do and pay it for. And do so to win. Now, a leader must of necessity be willing to do more than his followers. More than the team of members. If you ask one of his team members to go one mile, he himself, the leader, must be willing to go three miles. So when Robert Jerry carries you, ask for three days. He himself must be willing to do at least twice what he's asking uh, the others uh, to do. And what he says to me that you need to come at 11 for the service. The service was that this arrived here to open the gate. It is about the Jerry. The last person that is supposed to leave it is a brother Jerry. You must be willing when you are in leadership to do twice what you are asking those who are under you to do. Jesus tells us in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 41. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 41. If the soldier or anyone commands you to carry his gear for a mile, Carried two miles. Are you with me? You must be willing as a leader to do twice as much as uh, you are being paid for. So your job really does not stop when uh, you close the shop. Imagine if you came one Sunday. And Brother Jerry said to me, I'm so sorry. There is no preaching for today because I did not time to prepare my notes. 
But most of the time we have many things. People I would say, I'm so sorry. I did not get the carpet ready. Yes. Matthew chapter 5, verse 41. 41. 41. 41. So when a leader does not have any key, so God, I had a migraine yesterday, that way I could not be firm for the meeting. He has a no excuse. You see, why do you display those attributes? Without you even knowing it, you are positioning yourself for leadership. Not for secular leadership and for spiritual learned leadership. And God sees in secret. The people wants to see in secret. And uh, why are they not going to be able to remove some people and promote some people? Your name will always come up. That's the name that will come in the mind of the people. So you must demonstrate to other people that uh, you are willing to follow orders. You are willing to follow instruction. And to do so cheerfully, not being just something that is burdensome to you. Can you feel it? Because for us believers, for us Christians, following instruction is actually the way of with me. So you need to teach your children that following instructions, obeying orders from superiors, from leaders, from head of the homes, is the way of uh, life. And the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23, it says that. Uh, the command is a net, and uh, the teaching is a light, and correction and instructions are the way of uh, life. So, corrections and uh, instructions are the way of uh, life. For us Christians, we need to expect uh, God to correct us. If God is no longer offering himself to correct you, then I will have already rejected you. When Samuel, King Saul, King Saul, was looking for the voice of God, he said, to see a medium. And he said, you need to see the consumer of the spirit of Samuel. And so why is he practicing the cross and conjuring my spirit? Say, because God is not speaking to me. He moved by dream, nor by the, the, the prophets. He's not speaking anymore because he has already rejected you, Lord. Because he told you what to do this. You did not obey. You did not obey the passion. More about what people thought of you. So God stopped correcting you. He stopped giving you instruction because he has already rejected you from being the leader over his people. As God said, as David, to the man after his own heart, who will do me? He follows his commands, he receives correction, and he will follow the instructions. And with me, to me, your mom or your dad also stop giving you advices. They've already given up on you. <laughs> Without them saying anything, but with a subconscious mind, they have already said that this child, we can't turn him around. Destructions, correction is a way to begin as a you need to be light but the Lord gives you correct because it's important you to be a taker of his holiness according to Hebrews chapter 20. We have 
Dann kommt die Perpisso in der Nacht von der Analogie. Blick korrekt, das ist die Ruhe. Du musst nicht immer wieder nach dort korrekt sein, dass die Tisch nicht links aus, sondern wir können die Fabrikers und die Verkiefer, die Meine, Nature. He wants us to be exactly like this. Ich habe mal das Wort nicht gesagt. Ja. Are you with me? If we do not teach our children that well, reading, I gave it last uh, Sunday when I was singing. That's my motto in pitching them. So, if we don't teach our children to follow instruction, to follow orders without murmuring, without blaming, we are doing them uh, for this uh, favor. That's why God is against the murmur and complain. Because when we do what we were, we saw the ends. As that was here. He does not need someone to be always breathing over his head and do something. He knows what he is supposed to do. And because of that, at least lesson, because he knows he does not do it, winter is coming. That's part of responsibility. You with me? If our children don't know how to take responsibility and how to do things uh, without murmuring and complaining, how to follow instructions from uh, authorities, even parents, without murmuring and complaining, they are not going to be effective in the world force. <laughs> If we are not effective in the workforce, we cannot be able to offer this meeting that company or in our society. Using the bigger pictures, the world goes to the nation, and the nation starts with an individual, that individual with the family. So if you work in McDonald's and your home, or your daddy did not take you to take instructions without ever complaining. And your mom always says, Please, Jerry, can you wash the dishes? And please, you are used to please before they ask you to do something. Instead of just, you know what, have to wash the dishes. After that, you over here. You go, What's that? 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 So this give me new orders. And you say, no simply, there's no police here. The machine is this wrong. What? And you are now being offended, you're putting up a long space without what you need for the human. Oh. So when you're putting a long space, it's not good for the customers. And we believe because Numbers chapter 6, the Lord said we need to bless the people with a smile, the easy English version. So if you do things at home with murmuring and complaining, with whining, when you come to the place of work, they ask you to clean the spinach, you have a long face. And the customer not in this, that you are putting up a long face. You are not friendly. Next time the customer will not come. They are, they are not truly really friendly that the friend of the And uh, he will just walk a person in a Starbucks. But he said, hey, come. You want to put in the spice? Uh, the spice uh, not the spice, not the pumpkin spice coffee. You are repelling customers. Our business is uh, about people. If the people are not feeling welcome in our midst, they want to pray from us. And they are not feeling welcome because of you, they are not the faith. So, after your small period of trying, tell me to call you to the office. I think we need to let you go. Are you with me? That's why in those days, I don't know if it's not a compulsory uh, in the UK, but 
in the, the whole of Europe, the national service was compulsory. But before you enter the workforce, if you are 16, you stop school, you go to the military, male or female. If you are a junior teacher, a level, and you want to work, they will not allow you to work. They will send you to the national service. If you want to do a PhD, no problem. Have a friend of mine who's a Russian. And uh, you will study between the PhD and the support. Russia was waiting for him. Yeah, he was studying. But not going to be allowed to work once he implemented the national service. So he told them an exemption in Nathan that uh, he, <laughs> he was not exempt from the PhD. And then he finished. Russia was saying, you need to come and do the national service. So he took the British citizenship, he fled to Canada. We will not allow you to work much into the national service. Why were nations imposing it? Because they didn't use some time at home at his school. They did not teach you how to take orders, how to follow the instructions without the learning and complex school. By teaching you five years in the military, they were teaching you to be the work of a fighter day. Because you leave your house, you would have a class at the day, once in nine days, and because you're home, your dad is allowed you to do that. But if you're working with sheep and print and manger, uh, at what time do you leave the house? Yeah. Four. You get there and go to the shop and pay the same thing. Someone needs to be there outside. You need to leave your house on the fridge. So the military has to teach you to wake up at 5 a.m. So that you can wake up. They have to teach you how to make your own bed. They have to teach you how to do some exercise to take care of yourself. How to be your father's keepers. They have to teach you some exercise that you can't do it on your own. Except to give your team things that you are not told at home. They are going to teach you because in your place of work, you need to rely on your colleagues. So if you don't teach that, if the, the nation has removed the national service, you teach it home and not us. You teach it to our children. Otherwise, they are not going to lead leaders, not just the church, in the society. If there is no discipline, you cannot be a leader. If you are going to be in the school system, you can't be a leader. A leader does not make a school system. I remember a book I made in Rugby, and I did put it on. At 6 p.m., they put it in the class. At 8 a.m., I was in school. I got you. I didn't bring the notes as a mom not allowed me to do that. So even if she's not here, I need to be She didn't do But I'm going to go to the school. But then it's It's going to be So there are some things that we teach. We train the people because of inherent in them. And without knowing it, they are just going to be candidates for promotion. It's very different. If someone is not willing to submit to the authority of another person, people are not going to submit to him either. We all submit. Are you with me? If you're ahead of department, you submit to the dean of the school. You submit to the purpose of the school. We are always taking orders from other people. If you are a husband, you think that you are the head of the home. Yeah. Okay. You need to submit to the headship of Jesus. Not just the headship of Jesus, but to the 
authority of the word of God and the authority of the church and faith. Because a lot of people say, I'm going to start with Jesus. Well, it won't work because Jesus is in heaven. So you are going to do what is right in your own lives. We don't trust you. You need to start with your courage and the scriptures. Matthew 18 from 15 to 20. And there is a problem. You call the person you don't believe and turn face to face. If you have not agree, you call out to other people that know the word to be thinking. If it does not, then you call to a church. The church will come for this Bible and show you what you might think my brother is the wrong. And we are the leaders of the church. If he does not even obey the church, Jesus is just a pagan. See that he has a pagan. So be when when I am going to say that, that I'm a Christian, but I don't go to the church, you are wasting your time. The reason the three layers of covering of the, the, the headship of Jesus, the headship of the church, and uh, the headship of uh, the early scriptures. Are you with me? Ah, so, the wife of the kind of mad. You can find another foolish kind of mad that's your problem. Oh, you will do. Yes. In the vision chapter 5, verse 21 to verse 33, the vision chapter 5, verse 30, 21 to verse 33, that's where the Lord is explaining, submit yourselves to one another under the fear of the Lord. The fact that you're a leader does not mean that you have uh, absolute uh, authority. No, we take the price for people that are working with us. That's why I asked you to write five things. Three that are positive that we need to amplify, and the two that are negative that we need to scrap. Because you all eat in the mountains. We submit to one another. But for any organization to work, the needs to be okay. That after consultation is going to make a, a definite decision. We're going to come up with a definite We saw it last time. The definite measure of planning and ever decision. In order to be in consultation with the people who are working in with the people. If I say to you, let us do church at 6 a.m., I can't be here at 6 a.m. And uh, how many of you are going to be here at the So now, <laughs> it's going to be finished without the organization. Let's do the afternoon service. Why don't you think about it? Winter is coming. By flourish gets uh, done. I think we need to start planning to move into a place where we can do the morning service so that it's going to be convenient for every day. So you take into account uh, Lulu and the chase that needs to be purchased for the one day uh, school. You take into consideration that uh, Joshua and the angels. So we submit to one another. With me. Then you have a structure. Now, F, which is a G. G, the willingness, is the willingness to follow instructions and delegate authority. G, the willingness to follow instructions. And the delegate authority. In the book of Numbers, chapter 27, verse 18. Numbers, chapter 27, verse 18. The Lord would say to Moses, and Joshua, the young Joshua, the Joshua, the son of Lydia. Uh, and the, the man in the womb, the spirit of the womb, is upon. And lay your hand upon him. One 
hand. Your hand turns in secret. Lay your hand upon her head. Sometimes in leadership, God would ask you to appoint someone in your office. Are you with me? The boss up there is asking you to appoint someone to be the manager, no longer you. So, if it does not matter if you are not happy with the, the decision. You might even be reluctant to do so. But the Lord is saying to you, this is the decision that has come from the head office. You need to do that uh, anyway. Are you with me? So we receive commandments even if sometimes we are not to obey them. God wants us to be happy and willing to do so. Moses decided, I will not just put one hand. I will put my two hands on Joshua. Meaning, it is not just because God commanded me to do that. I want Joshua to stand where I am. I want to see to it that the transition is a smooth transition. Everything that he needs to know to be successful in that managerial position, I'm going to help him to make it. Are you with me? So the book of the Lord, chapter 13, verse 9. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 34, verse 9, the Bible says that the Joshua, the son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom and understanding uh, because Moses had laid him in two hands, not just one. God said, they just lay one hand. I know that you want to do something to be the people that cross hand. You want to make the hand. But now, because of your mistakes, I'm going to give someone else to continue that the ministry or to step into your office. So I want to show you. Moses was not fully happy in the beginning. But you say, if it is come from uh, the headship, uh, the kingdom, I'm going to also put my home in this uh, transition. I'm going to show that I am willing. I'm going to deliver my endorsement to the leadership of uh, Joshua. I put my two hands on the Joshua. I'm telling you that I have endorsed Joshua. Is it true? I am successful. Are you with me? And the Bible says, when he did it, the people understood that Moses was not uh, angry before God showed uh, Joshua. Moses was happy for Joshua to stand in his uh, office. And Moses was happy to help Joshua to succeed in that uh, office. The Bible says now, so Israelites, the Israelites obeyed Joshua as they did uh, the Lord and Israel. Oh, sorry, and the Israelites obeyed uh, Joshua as and did as the Lord had commanded them. So, why they so? Because we see people are like loyal to you. In the leadership, you start having the gift. People that are now loyal to you. And they feel like obeying the new manager. It is them as if they have betrayed the you. So, you need to tell everybody that. It is with my blessing that I am allowing the Joshua to take over. Last Sunday, so the question: How should I introduce the Nunu? This my sister Nunu. Now they call me Pastor Jerry. Yes, is it Pastor Nunu or Teacher Nunu? And the same thing for us. Call me Pastor Rosemary. We are all Pastor Rosemary. Because what I'm putting in mind, I'm putting my two hands there. You tell everybody that uh, I'm going to endorse uh, you, and they are not endorsing the person. Because it's very easy now. The 
you mean when you are a leader, you need to have power those who are working with you. That is good uh, leadership. When I was in the other church, the pastor that was in charge officially was on the paper, the pastor. Officially, I was nowhere in the structure of the church. Even when he left, they said he neither the pastor the church. So, whoever they did not know how to define the buyer. I think every time I said assistant pastor, but I was not the assistant pastor with his wife, and was not also here. So point I no, this is So the Person. 
not many person, not messy person, and no careless person can become a successful leader. Why? Because as a leader, because leadership calls respect. People look up to you when you are the leader. Imagine Joshua. You were with your friends in the uh, city center last day, and you met me. I had a rascal uh, found his uh, dreadlocks, and I had my jeans sagging, and my underwear uh, was showing the crack of my box was showing. And uh, you saw me say, Hey, Joshua, will you be able to say to your friend that this is my pastor? <laughs> if you don't take on that small thing, you are going to repeat your access to leadership. For the world, the team members will we not respect the leader who does not score highly on all those factors. Do you mean? Because the way you present yourself, people become proud of you, proud of you, but proud to associate with uh, you. Now, Jesus, for instance, was always nicely dressed. Yeah. Jesus was not wearing rags. In the book of John, chapter 19, verse 23, John chapter 19, verse 23, the Bible says that when he was being crucified, he was wearing the seamless uh, garment. The seamless garment. And people had to come to have his tunic. To have this status, to have this underwear. Because he was crucified in naked. So he had this turban, he had this garment, uh, the seamless garment, he had his sandals, he had his underwear, he had his uh, trousers. That's why they cast lot for six parts one, two, three, four, cross the sandal, bang. Who's going to get his sandals? Who's going to get his trousers? Who's going to get his underwear? Who's going to get his underwear? Who's going to get his underwear? Who's going to get his That's what they call the underwear. Who's going to get his tunic? If it were rats, who's going to humble for rats? Read your Bible very well. Yes. So, no! If you have a problem, you need to crucify him. That's what No. Let's see the third son of God. If you are dying like us, there is no power. I didn't come for me because it was a quality pattern. Dressing nicely doesn't need to be expensive. You know I mean? You enter in a time after a wonderful thing. The reason why I don't buy for time after is because my size is not uh, in prime art. Not that the little time I need to. I think you use, I buy my t shirts from them. What are the good other uh, ones? It is too far something. That's good. So it doesn't need to be expensive. But to put yourself together, you see. Jesus was not awkwardly dressed. He was not an embarrassed with his disciples. And like John the Baptist, the book of uh, Matthew chapter 3, verse 4. Matthew chapter 3, verse 4. John the Baptist was clothed in a camel's hair, with a leather belt, and his tail was a strange and Don't be a weird Are you me? Are you going to, which church are you going to? Which of us, the Pastor Jerry, where? He comes with a uh, <laughs> head. He has a beard that is like a uh, rubber soul comes away. Had a uh, bushy hair. No, 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 no. You're embarrassing the children. 
I'll run to the shop and she said, Tell me the thing. She said, Tell me to be a Christian. Be with me. Don't embarrass the children. Again, bring your, your weird dressing. Just do not embarrass the disciples. I know that. Beating is food, it is dying. He was no more. He could have been sick. Everybody. Are you with me? Jesus took his shower. Hallelujah. He took his shower. Yes. Jesus took his shower. He anointed his body with some lotions. Even my grandmother in the village, she used to boil some palm oil. And then when this car is going to cool down, she used to buy the palm oil. Then he rubbing a whole body with a hot palm oil. Not warm palm oil. She did not have any hair, but she had palm oil. So you will have Jesus used to anoint him. Jesus used to put some oil on So, shall we see the Bible? See in the Bible. So, you can read your notes. People read your notes. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 17 to verse 18. Matthew chapter 6, verse 17 to verse 18. Jesus said, Why do you fast? Even when you fast, do some little form as you believe that it goes into your back, maybe on your lips. Don't let your lips become skin. Don't let your skin become white and clean because you've not had water for three days and three nights. He said, why do you fast? He said, what do you do? Anoint your head. That's the motion. He was rubbing the motion on your head. So you take your shower before you take your motion. You take your shower, put some motion on your face. Don't let your face dry. You are getting the fast fasting. No. In the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 7. Matthew chapter 26, verse 7. Jesus knows the ocean. He knows the um, one million people go to bed. I told you, is it in the Bible? Yes. The most of them, she told me about an ambassador. It was a 300 million people. That's it for you. And she poured it at the feet of Jesus. She did not say he's a cow. She did not say he's at you that was in the midst of the world. No, you need to step. Hallelujah. You need to brush your teeth. Hallelujah. You need to put a mouth wash. Hallelujah. Yes. My pastor, the, the general is taking to the church. And he was going to Bible college. He was going to have the money. He won't have money to buy the food for the toothpaste. So he was just brushing the, 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 the mouth without the toothpaste. He said, when he was praying for people who were falling under the anointing, but not the anointing really was the stench of his mouth. So when I heard it, they thought, they were going to come to me to shake. I wouldn't want to come to the face. I said, you want to be what? I want to come to the face in Jesus' name. And you will be, even, I think, I'm, I'm scared. I want to come to the face. Even if they are free, choose the face of the face. You need to be pleasing God. You have the pleasing person. With me. So when you stand before people, if you don't work on that sweet personality, you are going to shut doors for yourself. You are not going to be able to stand before great people. You are not going to be able to be considered for some promotions. Unfortunately, that is the truth. I used to be the one who school in France, the engineers. That's what they call the engineers in France, and blah, blah, blah. So I was the first black in that school with another guy that he was from uh, 
He had many blood. He had Asian blood in him. He had white blood in him. He had the black blood. So he was a, a mixture of everything from the Caribbeans, French Caribbeans. So we were the two of us. After after us, many other people uh, came now. We were the first batch of people, and uh, some of the young people that came with us, we had braids. Uh, like a day, we had breaks. We had another friend of ours, a white guy. We had uh, those uh, fighting breaks where people are, they put mud, like the hippies. You put mud in your hair so that they're going to be like uh, drains. But you see, the hippies used to have that. There's a stench, there's a stench, a stench. So, <laughs> I said to them, you need to shave your head. He said, oh, Jerry, we are in the 21st century. Things have changed. People's mindsets are different. But we are being trained to be the cream of the French society. We are being trained to work for the Atua. We are being the, the, the church, the fighter, to work for our young, the, the pockets, to work for the, the men. And those are the, even the old teacher didn't have to drink wine at his school because wine is part of the French culture. So they were moving as a distending to be the kids. And I said, I don't know how much about this kind of care as anybody can find. So we went for place the first year, we did that the business for working back, but we need to work hard to take all the take a deeper for the, the same rent of all. So when we went for the rent of the train, they gave them the train because they were to be so, so cares. But they say to them, we don't think we can get you next year for an engineer position. They not tell them why. So this can see this. This can see this. Denied. Denied. And that's the subject. Okay. No, there is a racism. There is a racism. We have a lot of people in one of those places. My company is a Fortune 5 company. I'm not going to allow people to be dressed like that, to be appearing like that. I respect my company, so you respect my company. I went hard to deal with the two billion euros of worth three. So if you don't have the business here, respect to my company, I don't know this stuff. And so they did not have a place because the three year school did not have a place in the second year. They had to find out a placement in the university that the university had to invent a project. I did not have to talk to my friends. I used to place my hair in those things. This is my part of this. You know? <laughs> and this I'm telling you, I have to do this. <laughs> so, but the next year, the two of them, both my white friend and my brother friend, they were going to shake your bag. Nobody needed to be there on the street. They were closing the door for themselves. And you were going to Because the kind of Let's look at Ruth uh, chapter 1, chapter 3, from verse 1 to verse uh, 3. Ruth chapter 3, from verse 1 to verse 3. Even when it comes to dating, you need to to, to appear your way. You need to fix your name. You need to fix your name. Working in the field. So she was wearing to work in the field, and then she would come back home sweating. So Boaz would want to see her in rags, filthy. They would say to her, My daughter, I need to seek rest for you. You know, rest is in marriage. But the way Boaz has been seeing you, there's no attraction there. Now, I want you to take your back. Are you with me? <laughs> so she said, you know, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't push yourself. So take your 
And then the one I learned yourself. For example, the view. I learned yourself. And then put on your face to God. I will be dressing with my daughter. I'm trying to get your husband. So wash yourself. Anoint yourself. Put some makeup on. Fix your wig. Hallelujah. Many times when we are praying, praying about some basic things. Are you with me? That we need to teach our children. My dad like to have the name. So when he said that he's because he was thinking about the car, so he used to have some teachers but that they have holes in them. Because he said, why would I wear a good teacher if I learn to learn to talk for my teacher? So when you come home, you want to wear a work of the uh, professional young woman. You put on one of the uh, teachers, you look like he likes them, you look like you look like a monster, and then he wears it. When my mom comes, she goes through uh, suitcase, his suitcase. And if I want to put the t-shirt that comes back, take them and burn them all. It's a new hat in the back. This girl will be dressing like I need to be a key for that. Or we make sure that I have a good t-shirt when you are. Because my dad was now a representative. Whenever people saw my dad walking, he said, whose husband is a uh, he? My mom used to say, who let his man out? <laughs> so, meaning, which one would let his man out of the house? He's hiding, he, he's not hiding. He's sure he's not hiding. There's a stain, a uh, ketchup in his chair. Who let this guy out of the house? He you know the way you change the whole thing because you are representing your family when you're coming out of the house. My mom used to dress in the morning and come and stand before I go to post. How do I do this? And then she can go to work. Hallelujah. Because you are representing your family. Who let you out of the. You are the one who the More they come here, more teeth to come and position the teeth. You go to the room. Going to be exterminated in 127 provinces. So in the extra chapter 4, verse 1 and verse 2, extra chapter 4, verse 1 and verse 2, he came that he was wearing sackcloth and ashes. Esther said to them, Don't your own see the world be, and this is an urgent matter. But the reason what the world is here. There is a problem that no one is allowed to see the king or to even come in the palace dressed like that. You feel me? So, be yourself. Go wash yourself. Put on some wonderful clothes. I don't want you not going to stand far away from the gate. The Bible says, verse 2, she went out. Under the king's gate, for no one might enter the king's gate door of the You have a word to do, but not even a word to be able to enter the gate. Now, what you see the gate there? Ah, no way. Are you with me? The same thing also with Joseph. Joseph was in prison. In prison, there was no razor blade. So he had. His beard. It was not showing in the dungeon, so it was hanging. His fingers were full of dust. And then the king had a dream. And only Joseph had the solution. You may have the solution for your company. You may be gifted. But your presentation matters. So when you are going before great people, it's not just because you are gifted, your presentation.
Confrontation of the world. So the Bible says in the Genesis chapter 41, verse 14. Genesis 41, verse 14. The Bible says that then Pharaoh sent and told Joseph, and they brought him quickly. Even if it is quickly, take a quick shower, take a quick Even at the gate of the king, dressed by that and things. And what did he do? He shaved the sword. So if you decide to keep your beard for men, throw it in your beard. If you decide to keep an apple, then uh, it is the welcome to that apple. You know I mean? You can decide to do anything, but let me. Bring the gentleman, be presentable. Are you with me? So, he changed his clothing. He put something nice, and then he came with all the We are hindering ourselves what God can do for us. God can use you. But you are going to live in the, the early one of uh, Israel. If I virtually decide, don't be wearing flaggy jeans, bold jeans, and I believe what is working, you know, God is still going to use. Are you think? But I'm only going to attract a certain amount of if I keep pregnant, the only God can do me. And that one is going to attract the servant of the world. If I dress in such a way, I can speak to everybody. I can be the king's palace. I can speak with homeless. I can speak with uh, fatherless, motherless, uh, people of the army. We need to dress in such a way that we do not throw the doors to yourself. Are you with me? We are going to also speak about the speech. You need to be through that in the speech. Please go through that in the speech. Because I remember when I went to CDFUK, people keep speaking something, but they will not tell you that. Because CDFUK they have the same equipment that BBC has. And the people that are working for them, they can do the same school, they have to reach out. The sort of thing is something for Christ that we should be doing in the church. Or we should believe the word God as in the church. For God's sake, we have the best in the school, we have 168 and 168. We have 100,000 pounds to chapter the declaration of the church. We are a realistic, we are children of London. So you can expect that thing. And then you come, you don't respect them. that. And they say to me, after the third time that thou art going to be here, this came and said to me, when did you come here? We, we are so hard. Because we feel that our job is the bad news. Your only man will be richer when you come here, you are the best. We can see that already. Which is the house. We know our family. We know our calibre of uh, how we study. We are professionals. And look like to the people that are coming on our platform. And we uh, never invite you on this. We tell me like that. That we divide what God has given to us. In the name of being the only Lord, in the name of uh, they are the pagan, they don't uh, respect us. We respect what God has given us. do everything in our excellence. It matters when we are gathering. The acoustic needs to be good. Hallelujah. It needs to be clean on the floor. When God gives the step on the world, we're not going to wonder. We're not going to be able to say, what matter where we gather. What happens in the presence of God? People came to Jerusalem because when you see that and wonder, 
When they saw the one girl, they also received the God girl. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the just the reader of the one and the Bible in Jesus. So, I will stop here for today. Let us go. Father, we want to say thank you. We want to give you all the glory and all the praise. As you are unfolding before our very eyes, the, the attributes of uh, leadership, we oh. want to turn every follower of yours into a leader. And I know there will be leaders in our homes, leaders in the place of work. We are going to be leaders also in the society and leaders in the church. We are going to set the standard. Everybody we have. We are not going to set the standard. Father, I pray that we are going to be role models for our children how to behave, how to take over the marketplace. That's going to take over the marketplace. Now, that's going to be a good thing to over the marketplace. Don't let me get a nice role in uh, Egypt. Father, we serve the same for the way for our place in the so let us learn the principles that are already revealed on the one of the Bible and implement them in our life for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us share grace. Thank the grace of our Lord Jesus. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. And sure the goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Well, in the house of the Lord, regular in the house. So, have some refreshments, sir. May the Lord bless you and give them hope to come on us in Jesus' name. Good morning. Hello, yeah.